Walter Elias Disney, December 5th, 1901 to December 15th, 1966, was an American producer, entrepreneur, animator, writer, voice actor, a pioneer of the American animation industry. Fuck, this is boring. Disney is boring? I thought people liked this guy. I don't get what the big idea is about this dork. He's got this super boring Wikipedia article opening. I don't know. This whole thing doesn't really seem like such a good idea, but I guess this week we're playing Disney games? I find that when you're a wizard, the hitboxes are optional. In Fantasia, Nikki talks to Finn Truck more times than any character probably ever did in the actual show. In Doug's Big Game, and Cody lives in a world where some crate manufacturer is out there just making really small crates. Hey, why? Why are you making crates so small? How am I going to fit anything in your shitty small crate? In Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2. All this in Fall Guys. Can't wait for Fortnite to steal all these ideas too. It's Cartridge Blowers episode 174, Quail Man versus Journalistic Integrity. All right, I'm going to give uh, this Disney guy another shot. So let me look back at this article. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Career, personal life, politics, anti Semitism, racism, advanced American imperialism. Huh. Maybe we should have a Looney Tunes week instead? YNIN's Cartridge Blowers! Starring. Cody Coleman, Nikki Wright, Matt Krula, and no one else, Cartridge Blowers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to YNIN's Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, is Nikki Wright. Hello. And Matt Krua. Um, hi. Hey. Hey, what's up? Um, yes. 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 Are we? I'm so sorry. <laughs> are we doing this now? We are, yeah. Okay, I gotta, I gotta finish this. I'm taking this personality quiz to figure out which Mario character I do sex moves like the most. <laughs> so. Oh, shoot me that link, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll, send, yeah. I'll, send that, I'll send that to you. Yeah. Um, oh, God, Toad. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I'm the best! I'm <laughs> the This is the, video, this is the show where we play video games based around a theme, and uh, this week the theme is Disney games. It's uh, been a shockingly long time since we've done this theme. It feels like it hasn't been, but it has. So we're going to play games that are based around Disney characters. And since Disney owns everything in the fucking world now, it can pretty much be anything, but I think most of us are sticking to the basics. Um, but that is the second half of the show. And if you're watching us live, as you can every other Friday on twitch.tv slash cartridge blowers, you, uh, you're going to have to listen to us talk about some other stuff before we get to that. But you also can participate in the chat, which is just a whole hell of a lot of fun. We got several people in there right now. And you can uh, hang out with us in the after show and uh, watch some videos and see a little bit of how the show gets made. And uh, it's just it's a whole lot of fun. So please come on down to twitch.tv slash cartridge Blowers, click on that follow button to be alerted when we go live, and you can participate in all this stuff too. However, if none of that stuff is your jam, and you really just want to get down to the meat and potatoes of the show, the whole playing video games thing, you can click on the uh, click on the timestamp in the description below over at youtube.com slash cartridge blowers, and, uh, or youtube.com slash YNIN pod, they both work. So uh, yeah, but that is what you have to look forward to in the second half. We got to go ahead and talk about some other stuff, because really matt's been playing some things that uh he's been real interested in and now he's gonna tell us about them i'm i get to talk about video games on the internet amazing finally, right finally, yeah. a, finally a white guy can do that um so uh <laughs> let me finally uh let me talk to you about two games i've been playing uh first off i finished paper mario the origami king a couple yeah days ago. 
Um, it is uh, the most recent game in the Paper Mario series. Um, I think I did. I talk about it last episode. I think yeah, I did. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think I just started it. Uh, I'm finished. Um, it is fantastic. I really enjoyed it all the way through. Um, it is it has an ending that I really didn't see coming, um, and is quite sad. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. It is it is definitely a sad and melodramatic ending. Oh no! Um, and uh, ends with no hope for the future. So that's pretty great. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. I, I want to sp- play this game, Mario. Yeah. Game, like hardcore. Yeah. yeah. It's, a little, it's a little modeling, you know. Um, but uh, I to build on what I talked about last time, the puzzle mechanics were fights. Uh, continued to be pretty fun throughout the game. The characters and the jokes and the humor um, were enjoyable all the way through. And that music, and the boss fights, I think, those two things right there are the number one draws for the game. The boss fights are really fun. The music is stellar throughout. Um, if you're sleeping on it because you didn't like Color Splash or you didn't like Sticker Scar, uh, I say that you should not. And you should instead play Origami King. It is on Switch. It is very good. Okay. The end. It's great. Um, the other game I've been playing is uh, one of this, I guess, <clears throat> taken the internet by storm or whatever. Uh, it's in the last Fall three Guys. days. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, it's called Fall Guys. Uh, and uh, Iggy, uh, a friend of the stream, had a good description of it in chat earlier tonight. Uh, it's Wipeout, the television show, plus Gang Beasts. Uh, with a little bit of battle royale thrown in. Yeah, I and, think that's fair. Yeah, and uh, basically you play as a weird jelly bean. Uh, with a Baymax face. Can... Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, you have to compete in various rounds of play. Uh, there are obstacle courses. There are uh, sports games. There are weird challenges that you have to do um, in order to make sure you are the last person remaining at the end um it's very simple to play uh i have seen uh so everyone in our house has played it and done pretty well um and i alex really doesn't play games and he really has been doing pretty okay at it um and uh like gun makuma another friend of the stream his five-year-old uh daughter has been playing and has been passing uh <laughs> courses so that's awesome I mean, yeah, and I've been playing with a lot of people from the stream. Uh, uh, Joey, Kamakani, Joe, uh, Guptina, uh, Ambi, uh, lots of people at Barrel. Lots of people have come in and out. Uh, and it's, been, it's been a fun time. Um, it's easy to pick up and play. It's only like one, two, three buttons. It's a three okay, button game plus, plus, your, plus your control sticks, right? Um, you, you jump, you dive, and you grab, and that's it. Yeah, uh, I think that's really all you played, right? You've been so absorbed with Fall Guys. I watched a little yeah. bit of it myself, so. Yeah, you should grab it, man. We should play. I think um, I probably will, yeah. I was not in a position the other day to be able to play, um, but uh, I, I maybe I will. Maybe I'll pick it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm, uh, like, uh, like, I got other games in the pipeline for the stream. Um, like, we got, I got to play High School Musical still, um, Silent Hill 2, Wild Arms, and Deadly Premonition 2. Uh, it's a lot, uh, plus more Super Nintendo games, but uh, we'll see. We'll, right on. You know. Right on. Uh, I appreciate the offer, Joey. That is unnecessary, but I, I very much <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he said he said he was going to earlier. He said he was going to gift it to you. Oh, that's so sweet. You don't have to do that, though. I, I'll, I'll, I'll probably pick it up with my, my, my own cash, uh, but thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so... Nikki and I also didn't really play anything. I played a lot of Hollow Knight, and uh, I've already talked about that on the show. We don't need to talk about it again. And guess what? Really nothing that I feel like is worth talking about on the show is coming out in the next two weeks. So why don't we just go ahead and get into playing some Disney games? Uh, All right. Well, Matt, uh, you are up first in this, the Disney games. Okay. Uh, well, my game. Uh, okay. I was looking for. I wanted to play an older style game. Sure. Right. I feel like I I, I often try to play something from a newer generation. Um, even like sometimes you know on modern systems. And I was like, I want to go kind of retro for Disney. But you know, looking at the NES era, 
most of the Disney games there are classics. They're great. You've got your DuckTales, your Chippendales, your Darkwing Ducks, your Goof Troops, stuff like that, um, that are just fantastic games. Of course, your Cap- Capcom developed. Um, and don't even get me started on the movie stuff. You know, Aladdin, Lion King. Okay, we well, won't talk about Lion King, but Aladdin. <laughs> uh, and uh, there is a lot of Disney wheat to get through. You don't have to sift through much chaff. Um, the problem is I've played all of those games, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're supposed to be giving games and a second like chance to make a first impression. I've some of them on the show for other themes, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They, they've come up. Um, so I was I, I, I had to search far and wide to find a game that I had not played before. Uh, and it was easy to go to the Genesis because I didn't, I wasn't a big Genesis kid. I had a Genesis for a few months as yeah, a sure. child. Um, and I was like, there's some Mickey Mouse games on there, right? And I loaded up Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion, and then as I started to play it, I was like, "This is one of like the four games I had when I had a Genesis as a kid." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's a and good it's game. Also, oh, it's fucking awesome! It's great. Um, and so I was looking through other Genesis Disney games, and I stumbled upon Fantasia. Now, Fantasia, of course, is a video game released in 1991, based on the hit film Fantasia that was, of course, released in 1940 uh, <laughs> that might be the longest movie to video game uh timeline i'm not sure i might have to look at the godfather but uh a you know essentially 50 year spread between movie release and video game release uh is, is pretty strange and um here is i guess the gist of it it's a platformer you play as mickey mouse and his sorcerer's apprentice clothes this, and they this really isn't like the earliest rhythm game or anything. Is this isn't like Super Man, M- Super Mickey Conductor? It's not, but kind of is. Um, oh, okay. It, it uh, basically let me tell you, let me tell you the development history of this game. Uh, sure. So they were Sega was inspired by the success of Castle of Illusion, and by the 50th anniversary of the 1940 film to create the game. Uh, so they signed up Infogrames and they were like, Hey, Infogrames, can you make this? And the development team consisted of six people who lacked development and, uh, developing console games, a lot, lacked experience. Uh, and so they were rushed through, uh, to make the game come out by Christmas. Um, and with no time to tweak the gameplay or polish the graphics, the game was shipped in time for the holiday season. Unfortunately, the release of Fantasia was met with complaints by Roy E. Disney, who had made a promise to his uncle Walt that Fantasia adaptions would not be made. So uh, it turned <laughs> out they had granted the licensing in error. Oh, no. And, Holy uh, shit. So, yeah. And so they forced cop- uh, sales of the game to stop. Um, and every unsold copy, which was around 5,000, was uh, forced to be destroyed. And every advertisement about the game was removed. So um, I like a hard game. That they managed to get it released before anyone realized that that yeah. was a problem. <laughs> yeah, right. They were like, wait, wait, what do you mean you don't want Fantasia to be made? <laughs> we didn't really think about it. Um, the <laughs> Shit, we got to go to that... Kmart now. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Disney owned it at the time. It was fine. Um, the problem is that copies of the game did get out into the wilderness and uh, it's bad. <laughs> uh, the game was poorly received. Uh, Megatech Magazine said, quote, it's a massive disappointment, poorly designed, bland and frustrating with very little appeal. Uh, Mean Machines Magazine said that although uh, it appears impressive at first with excellent sprites and gorgeous backdrops, the gameplay is badly flawed. And there are several highly annoying features that make the action frustrating, as you'll see. Uh, Mega Magazine placed the game at number six in their list of the 10 worst Mega Drive games of all time. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, So... Uh, with that said, let's get into Fantasia. While the apprentice sorcerer slept, his master's music was still in the way. Now his dreams must restore the notes so the music again can play. Uh, now Have you'll I notice. Have I played this before? Holy crap. Uh, possibly. This hey, is really Humphrey. familiar to me. Mickey just died, yo. And yeah, his ghost comes out. Uh, and the game sends you directly to an options menu, which I found pretty nice. Uh, and uh, you get to select your dreams. I'm going to have three dreams. I'm going to have three continues. Uh, and there's a sound test menu if you don't like yourself. Um, <laughs> and so we start with the, the band tuning up. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. 
it's so so good this music is so good uh so here i am i'm mickey okay. mouse honestly i don't uh, hate this but i can imagine it would get old after a while uh, yeah bud yeah <laughs> uh, so the jump um and, and and maybe you'll be able to see it but it has a sort of uh how do i explain this a lag to it oh that's yeah, a landing landing lag and he also like, like leaving to gain the momentum before he jumps up right uh and yeah. at this point i wasn't sure whether or not i can jump on enemies the answer is sometimes <laughs> uh, oh <laughs> what happened he dies very easily yeah uh, i get three hits i have you can see at the bottom i have one magic spell shot uh, a score, which doesn't matter. Uh, four health, which is my, the amount of hits I can take. And the clouds are my dreams or my lives. Uh, gotcha. Can, can we talk about how just completely unnecessary all of this foreground stuff is? Oh, it's awful. Yeah. Yeah. The perspective here is really strange to me. It's, it's very much in the way. It's very much distracting. Uh, and I, I guess and... that's probably the point. But... Right. Ah, and there's yeah, already there's enough, enough going on. on in the, the monsters. Yeah. There's already so much going on. Um, like the tiny, and... aside from the tiny butt plug villains, I think the the rest of them, are, <laughs> the sprites actually look kind of okay. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's the foreground is very it's, annoying. It's not as good as Castle of Illusion, but it's not bad. Uh, so I'm trying to get to that door. I did not make it. I died. Uh yeah it just it just doesn't feel on you've died a whole lot real quick uh, yeah <laughs> it seems fairly difficult yeah just, just a tad uh and so keep an eye on this first level we we do get past this i promise uh but uh you'll see you'll see it a lot um so i'm just trying to make my way across the sorcerers i guess Sorcel dome? I don't know. Tower? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't think very hard on that. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Fantasia since I was very, very young. Um, and it didn't I really have a plot, it. did it? Uh, I, I don't really recall, but not. I was a child when I last saw it, and I didn't finish it because I actually thought it was quite boring as a kid. Okay. Yeah, it was and mostly... It might be different now because I can appreciate the fact that it's probably really good music sing sure probably gorgeous animation uh but as a kid i was just bored right it was just a bunch of shorts uh yeah to different you know classical songs um right. mickey's apprentice being the the biggest all or, right the so now we've price. got this area which has just this awful music awful fuck it sucks too bad because like i honestly think that background is very pretty uh, it's all right. Oh, so we died. We now go back to the band tuning. Yes, Yin Sid is, is the guy from Kingdom yeah. Hearts. Uh, and so I have to go through the first level again. Because, uh, oh, there are no checkpoints. There are no checkpoints whatsoever. Um, you'll also notice that uh, that book I touched is not an enemy. Sure looks like one, though. It does. Uh, <laughs> it comes at you, it's got animation, it looks like an enemy. Uh, but no, it actually gives me more shots for my magic spell, um, which is pretty invaluable, but you don't get very many. So you really gotta uh, work on keeping them. I also got a blue orb down there. Uh, the blue orb is a blue orb. Also, okay. <laughs> I don't know what it does, I have no clue. <laughs> sure. When you run into those little enemies, yeah. They disappear as if they were collectibles. Are they collectibles or are they enemies? They are not. No, they are enemies, but... They all disappear. You, it, it dies too. That's confusing. So, <laughs> it, it is a little bit, yeah. Um, so, in, in, basically, um, if, if I touch an enemy, it explodes and does damage to me, but it can't do damage to me again. Which is one of the only concessions that the difficulty has here, because uh, this game's pretty hard. Um, that, that lily pad that I tried to jump on that definitely looked like I couldn't land on uh, is a platform. Okay. And I am supposed to land on it. It does look uh, like avoiding enemies is damn near impossible. <laughs> it's pretty tough. Uh, 
I took two hits there in the yeah, water. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, so I've got some strategies here for getting past these guys, which is just a lot of patience, really. And enemies actually, uh, when they're the walking type of enemy, uh, they respawn indefinitely. As you okay. could have seen behind me there a second ago. Those side moving uh, platforms have a, a weird speed situation. I, they have a weird speed and, a, and like, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I don't either. All right, so I tried to jump on the frog's head. It didn't work. But we got these alligators. I'm like, well, I can't jump on the animal's heads. So let's kill this alligator. No, the answer to this one is jump on his head. Uh, <laughs> huh. There's not a lot of helpful game design here. <laughs> not very much, no. All right, well, here's the frog. Let's uh, try and... Oh, I could jump on him. You could on jump him, right? on him? Well, it never not happens there. again. Don't worry. What? <laughs> the the hitboxes are optional in this game. Uh <laughs> This is this is a game that uh, you know you know sometimes enemies just like they just feel like dying and they do at the same time that you touch them with your feet. <laughs> All right, so we do the same strategy here. I bet this game has a killer speed run. Not gonna lie. Oh god, he respawned. See, so I had to take the hit uh, just to get through. Oh, we don't talk about Bart's Nightmare. That game is very bad. For the record, the uh, world record for Fantasia is 11 minutes and 21 seconds. Ooh. Holy uh, shit. Up there is... Uh, on so I touched mode, something. Though. I'm on easy mode, I believe. Uh, the world record for hard mode is 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I got an item up there that gave me a little more health points. If I touch the star, uh, it'll give me even more health points. So now I'm up to seven, six. Okay, great. Couldn't jump on the frog that time. Awesome, cool. Uh, there's some more wizard shots, just one. Fell in the drink. Didn't land on the lily pad, but it didn't count me as getting hurt because I actually did land on the lily pad. That time I jumped off the water. That's an instant kill normally, but the game let me jump off the water. Uh, it is programmed. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to assure you that the, game... the, the cyan water. Oh, never mind. I have no excuse for what's happening here. It's gotta be. <laughs> I would say pixel perfect, but that's you're definitely on that right. for many, many more pixels. Uh, so now I've touched a fairy, and it's brought me to this underwater section. Uh, swimming is uh, god awful. Uh, I cut out a couple of deaths here. Um, and instead, you just uh, kind of see me speed through this because it is something different visually. Um, swimming is done by holding A. What? Oh, and, holding but, A? But holding A to move upward. Sure, uh, that's what video games have taught me. But sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> it, kind, it kind of feels like if you're moving forward while you're doing it, then it won't let you go up. <laughs> so you have to stop and go up. The control um, system for this game sounds very... Eh. <laughs> yeah, and touching that fairy would have brought me back to it. Oh, I I jumped in the treasure chest, and it actually brings me back into the level. What? So it's a warp back here to this frog section. Uh, which oh, is that's all the stuff. infuriating. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta skip ahead. Skip ahead here to this part. Um, and I save stated myself here quite a bit. Uh, good good to choice. Past this. Uh, oh, god damn. Okay. So we're here. We have to get through these two uh, seagulls. Jump off that. Jump across. Get over the butt plugs. Get over the frog. <laughs> grab that. Get the health. All right. I'm saving stay here. Let's touch the fairy. And this time it doesn't take me to another realm. There's no consistency to this game. Wow. Holy shit, Matt. So we'll, we'll duck under the seagull. It's great. This no, it's fine. This game is terrible. <laughs> and honestly, for me to call the game terrible, I played a lot of garbage. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. So I think I know from garbage. <laughs> this, is, and this, is, this is an all-timer. It is, for oh, look sure. Look at the, the alligator's neck is gone. I just noticed that. Uh, so we touched that. Now I want to show you the third level. It's really exciting. 
It is the first level again, but oh. more enemies. What the fuck? Significantly more enemies. It is the exact same layout as the first level. Huh. Watch it. Watch as we go over here. There are just so many butt plugs. <laughs> so many. But it is the same layout, so it's just like I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> It's like they didn't oh. realize there was more than one, like, clip in Fantasia. Right. Like, there's uh, just the Sorcerer's so decided, Apprentice, well, right? Well, you know what? I don't think that I want to play this anymore. I understand. And so I killed myself. Uh, and uh, I, would, I would, you know, go through the trouble of showing you the game over screen, but I have some bad news for you. <laughs> it's just Mickey walks to the left instead of the right. That's it? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Mickey walks to the left, and then his ghost goes back into his original body from the opening cutscene. Oh. Yeah, I should have included that, because it's real bad. So that opening cutscene where Mickey is sleeping and there's text at the top and his ghost comes out? Yeah. Well, in this one, the ghost comes back in, and that's it. But the text is still there. It's the exact same frame. They have done nothing. The prologue text is still there. It is the laziest shit I have ever seen. It also sounds like when you game over you come back to life yeah so it's like you didn't it seems great to me yeah <laughs> it was awesome not only I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let these brooms fuck me up i don't care <laughs> it's awesome kill me brooms please <laughs> that's a very bad game yeah. i did not enjoy playing I it, it looks atrocious and i want my money back <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's the garbage matt had to play uh nikki would you play so as you pointed out earlier in the show, uh, Disney kind of owns a lot of things. So we kind of had a big choice of, of what we could have possibly played. And so I was going through the list and I was like, oh, there's a bunch of Donald Duck games. I didn't know about that. Um, there's a bunch of DuckTales games. I didn't know about those. Um, but then I found a game where I was like, oh, there's no way I'm not playing this. And that game is Doug's Big Day. Because if you remember, uh, although Doug was originally, it was a show that originally aired on Nickelodeon, Disney ended up buying it or buying the rights to it to air another few seasons on their network. Mm -hmm. It was really bad. Um, you can find <laughs> out more in our non-existent podcast, Patty or the Podcast for me. Um, <laughs> uh, the Disney version of Doug is objectively worse. Uh, but they made a video game for that one, so that's what I played. It was released since the year 2000 for the Game Boy Color. So, let's oh. Doug. Let's Doug! <laughs> if there was ever a Nikki uh, game to play, it's Doug. Yeah, I was really excited about it. I was... I hope it's good. Yeah, I was really excited about it. Ooh. So... Okay. This is for the Game Boy Color, really right? The interesting thing about uh, the Doug game is that the game is entirely RNG. In what? that, yeah, um, so the introduction to the game is going to be different every time, and so it's going to send you on a different quest every time. There's no consistency. And, um, like, from there, it will sort of uh, give you um, additional quests to do, but it's completely. Uh, for the most part, RNG. Wow. Um, so I started with Fentruck. Okay. Um, okay. And Fentruck, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember what he wants. Um, okay, f <laughs> fair enough. He wants to not go back to Yakistonia. Well, sure. <laughs> Who wants, to, I mean, like, I, I, I've heard that Bluffington is the best city on earth. That's true. And um, who would want to live anywhere else? Right, yeah. So I was wondering what the coins were for. Uh, they're to use the payphone. So I call Al and Moo for some reason. They're sleeping. And Doug is like, oh, you know what I want? I want to not talk to a machine because you're sleeping. Goodbye. And that's <laughs> wow, really Doug. sassy for Doug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so I pick up another coin, I call again, and it, like he calls Alan Moo again. I don't know what that's about. Um, Did you break into the school after hours? Why is he asleep? <laughs> that's right, a good question. Baker. Yeah, so um, it's the weekend, and like Chalky's still hanging out at school, 
and we're trying to find Patty Mayonnaise, as is, you know, Doug's goal in, in life. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. And Doug was like, oh, he's with, or she's with Guy, the school newspaper Guy, editor. okay. <laughs> um, and so I have to go back and talk to Guy. Can I just mention really quickly that the movement scheme in this game is really, really bad. The hitboxes... I guess for like the objects on the map are very wide so like even though the path might look clear I will run into invisible walls a oh. lot. Okay. Fun. No. I thought you were going to talk about <laughs> Doug's walk animation which I absolutely love. It's so good right? He looks like he is just brainless. <laughs> <laughs> just do it, do it. Watch him walking from left to right. Look at Look at his head bob when he does it. Oh, uh, yeah. Why, whoa, why are his eyes moving like that? <laughs> it's just his head is moving left to right. Yeah. He's doing this thing. Wow. Do, 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 so, do, 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 do. <laughs> so, Guy tells us that we have to cover this beatball tournament. Ooh, he okay. Goes to Chalky, and Chalky's like, what the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> so, and then Doug makes him disappear. Doug, yeah, because that's what Doug does. Um, <laughs> disappearing Doug is what they call him. So we go back to Guy, and we tell him, Yo, dude, Chalky said he didn't know what the hell you were talking about. He goes, oh, yeah, that's right. It was rescheduled till next week. <laughs> Ooh, what a great quest. <laughs> and uh, he goes, okay, cool. Will you tell me where Patty is now? And he's like, oh, you know I don't reveal my sources, Doug. And so now Doug becomes Quail Man and fights him. <laughs> Wait. Sorry? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the goal okay. here is to just um, destroy for journalistic dogs. integrity. <laughs> 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 um, while fairies try to kill you. And you can't see it, but I have like three squares of health, and for this game, I've got like eight squares of quail eye, which is my attack. Um, so. I defeat it pretty easily. Um, I will say the fairies that chase you are a recurring element in other Quail Man battles, and it's kind of terrible. Um, so enjoy, <laughs> I guess. And Doug sends another person into the ether. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after I defeat Guy, he's like, okay, I will tell you where Patty is. Patty's at the mall or something, dude. And at this point, I'm checking a walkthrough uh, because uh, this game made no fucking sense to me. <laughs> sure. Um, I move eventually. I thought I cut this out. I'm terribly sorry. So I'm at the mall trying to just move and not having much luck. So I'm like, let's call somebody. And he talks to Fentruck and he goes, Patty Mannies, I admire very much Miss Patty. And he goes, yes, I'm seeing her every day at school. There is not school today, Doug. Uh, because, you know, it, it's not a Doug thing unless they're making fun of Fentruck's accent. Sure. Which was a problem back then. Yeah. As much as it is today, <laughs> so. So, so we're in the CD store, and we talk to Connie, and uh, she says, well, maybe go talk to Skeeter. He's at the park. So this, I hit up the park. This is just nothing. This game is just nothing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's not great. And so Skeeter's like, hey, man, I lost my shoes. Ha <laughs> ha. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, <laughs> and you have to help him get his shoes back. Sure. <laughs> Why do you lose shoes? Wait, what? Oh, he lost them because he was breakdancing in the park. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> Next to his cabin that he owns or something? Yes. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Listen, Grim Tides, we only do the, the fun stuff that Matt does for channel points for free during card games. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, we can all do our best Skeeter if you want. Oh, please. Like, okay. Uh, uh, hey, Doug, I lost my shoes, honk, honk. I'm an idiot, honk, honk. I'm good for the show. Just kidding, honk, honk. I'm the only good character, honk, honk. <laughs> he, he pretty much is, yeah. Everyone, everyone loves Skeeter. 
Oh, the honk honk was really good. Oh, uh, thank you. That was a good honk honk. So, <laughs> oh. I forgot to mention, but we have to go see, like, Skeeter tells us to talk to Skunky for some Skunky reason. Skunky Beaumont, yeah. Um, Please do the so... rest of this as Skeeter is what No Fun asks. Uh, we're not, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... I thought, I don't want to go through this maze. What if I go to the map and re-enter the level? It remembers where you are. Oh my god. And not that the maze is hard, but I just thought fast. Do, do, yeah. Do, do. Yeah. Be a lot better. Where's <laughs> your shoes? Do, 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 do. Right? This, this sucks shit. Uh, Listen, I, I noticed... I the AAA title. <laughs> I noticed you have Pork Chop. Does he do anything other than follow you? So, Porkchop does, and I didn't find out until the very end of the game. Okay, okay. all right. Wait, did you beat this game? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could have beaten this game, but... It does seem real hard. It's not... Well, like, the Quail Man stuff kind of sucks, and we'll get to why. Um, okay. But, like... After 30 minutes, I made it to the last mission, um, but I was over it. <laughs> I understand. Skeeter looks like an old fisherman in his... He does. <laughs> so now I get to visit the the real best character of the game, Mr. Dink. Double. Because he's got a fishing rod that we need. So the speed run for Doug's it's big four game... Minutes. And it's three minutes fifty six seconds. Yeah, holy shit! And I imagine the in order to even begin running the game, you just have to reset until you get the beginning that you need, which is uh, you start with Roger, and he tells you, um, "I won't tell you where Patty is until you help me find my limo keys." And if you find my limo keys, you can use the limo all day. Okay. okay. So, uh, I'm gonna cut out a lot here. Um, you can shoot the fish, but uh, aiming in this game is really, really bad. Um, it's very difficult to shoot in a straight line for this game. You can kind of see that he's like standing in the water. Um, and so, like, he'll either shoot up or down, or getting him to shoot sideways kind of involves you moving across the screen. And so shooting the fish is kind of a waste of time, um, especially because the fish are moving much faster than you, and you sort of have a delay on your quail eye. So for me, um, I just dodged the fish until I beat the level. Victory fly away. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, I did die several Look. times there because just trying to, to shoot at the fish just wasn't working for me and I died a lot. Wait, this game has a password system? It does for some reason. Okay. Um, and then at this point I was like, hey, I actually didn't pay attention to what Skeeter said, so let's sure. go to the phone because maybe it'll give me a hint. Um, and Alan Moo's father is like, oh, are my kids burning to death? No, I don't care. Goodbye. Like, he literally asked, wow. is there a fire? Oh, okay, well, thanks for calling, Doug. Oh, okay. what a waste of your quarter. Right? So I go home, because sometimes if you talk to Phil, uh, he'll give you some clues as well. Um, and he tells me to go home ASAP, which, um, are you okay, Phil? Because we're in your living room. Right? <laughs> so, uh... I do know that that means I have to do something with Judy. And uh, Doug is like, hey, do you know where mom is? And Judy's like, oh, your friend called. Oh, but I'm not going to tell you who. And oh you have God. to like do chores for me. Not chores, errands for me. So she makes him go to see Mr. Swirly for an ice cream bar. So is this game just talking to characters? And yes. then they tell you to do a thing, and then you do it. Correct. But with Judy, you actually have three tasks in a row to complete. Oh, damn. Hard mode. Okay. Yeah. So I go, man, I am stuck on that sign for Mr. Swirly's place. Um, and so I go and find him and, you know, get the peanutty buddy. I kind of wouldn't mind a peanutty buddy right about now. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. And so I have to get a book from her school. 
Doug is everyone's servant, says Grimtides. Basically. <laughs> In this game, that is definitely the case. The Moody School, wasn't it like a private acting academy type of thing? It was thing? something like that, yeah. Like Although, art. did I cut out talking to this guy here? No, I didn't. The... Um, what are oh. Al or Moo doing here? Uh, why are they here? <laughs> There's... Okay. Why is it only one of them? The other one was point. sleeping, I guess. Yeah. Okay. The Great Sauerkrautski. Yeah, so now um, I've got the Great Sauerkrautski book, and now I have okay. to go back to the mall to get a Shakespeare on Ice CD. This is mindless. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, it's Connie, the problematic character. Right? The one problematic character. <laughs> hey, it's Doug, the problematic character. <laughs> Oof, Doug is probably the worst one of all, I would think. Because, yeah. like, I mean, and we talk about this in our podcast, Patty or the Podcast for Me, um, but, like, as the narrator, Doug is unreliable at best or an asshole at worst. Yes. Judy, I oh, got Doug, you everything you want. Asshole. Hey, yes. one more time. <laughs> one more time. So... You do the things for her, and she's like, ha, ha, ha. So you have the worst boss fight imaginable. So what I only have fuck? three quail eye moves here. And once I'm out, I have to die. And so... What? Yeah. Um, what a good I mechanic. You turn into quail dog. Oh. Um, and he gets three quail eyes as well. And there, I probably spent ten minutes on this because three for something that takes four hits and you're trying to dodge fairies and you have to have like perfect aim is really tough imagine you're a kid in the year 2000 and yeah. you've, you've well, been watching doug yeah and uh then it, it moves to disney and becomes bad but you're like no i still love doug i'm gonna hold out hope i'm gonna keep watching doug nothing can take away my doug fandom from me and then you get this, this game for christmas yeah yeah now, I really want you to pay close attention to the ending here. There isn't a game over screen per se, um, but um, I think it's worth it. Okay. Like, she told me to go to the mall. <sighs> I can't find anything here. What a, what a, what a really populated mall. There's right. so yeah. many stores. Right. Was, was this game made in 2018? <laughs> 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 cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, I hope this game wasn't very expensive. It was oh free. My. Good. <laughs> but I still paid too much. The Free Queen says that, that might be worse than Fantasia. Um, I don't know about that. So Doug's big game seems like I like I said, a lot of nothing. Whereas yeah. Fantasia is aggressive towards you, the player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, 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 Doug's big game is a game that would make you like disappointed or you would take it back. Fantasia actively hates you as a person. <laughs> it's, it's trying to kill you actively. Yeah. Yeah. Doug's yeah. big game just is boring. Matt's, Matt's game, Fantasia, <laughs> is poorly programmed. <laughs> and its own rules only apply sometimes. So yeah, okay. Well, uh, Cody's gonna take us home though because he cheated. Uh, I didn't cheat. I played. You brought a good game to the table. <laughs> well, I, 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 I made a. I played a sequel to a game that I knew that I liked. Uh, sure. So uh, I grew up with the Disney Afternoon. I loved Darkwing Duck, The Rescue Rangers, Ducktales, all of those shows, and uh, I played all the NES games for them. Turns out there were sequels to both Ducktales and Rescue Rangers. I haven't played those, so I went ahead and played a game, um, the the sequel to Res Chippendales Rescue Rangers, which is called Chippendales Rescue Rangers Two, and <laughs> it's very imaginative. Uh, so I went ahead and played that, um, assuming it would play pretty much the same as the first game. That's right. Let's watch it. <laughs> Does it have the theme? Uh huh. Yep. Crimes, some crimes. 
you skip the fucking theme get off the <laughs> podcast all We're right i'll do it cream. now <laughs> fat cat oh no they got him they got him did fat cat have access to a blimp i guess so did they put a fat cat in jail uh yeah like real human jail i guess so I always thought that, like... So there's a bomb threat, a time bomb. What? And we have to go try to find it and stop it. Gadget, who is the, the god of an actual real-life human religion, uh, is telling you to go find the bomb. We'll go ahead and investigate. Look for us and we'll give you any clues we found. Sure. Mario Jack was like, oh, I oh, won't. Oh. Yep. So you pick up okay. these boxes the same way as you did before. You jump, you throw them. Um. There you go. You can get our our symbols. Yeah, I don't exactly know what those do. Uh, I do collect them because I feel I'm supposed to, but I don't really know why. <laughs> so I'm just going with the whole move to the right until I can't move to the right anymore. Uh, early NES platform stuff. There we go. All right, now I'm in part two of the kitchen. All right. Picking up some more boxes, grabbing some more RRs. Gonna throw uh, some box at this guy. He's dead. Well, he's stunned. Now he's dead. So this is a lot of what this game is. And it's actually really easy to avoid a whole lot of uh, the enemies. Uh, that, that one being an exception. Oh, it turns out if you throw it at his face, he will bat it back at you. Oh wow, that's a pretty good enemy. Yeah, you have to actually hit him in the back. Or just ignore <laughs> that he exists. Wait on him to leave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I thought it was a COVID for a second on this <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, no, it's a big old bottle of COVID. Yeah, not good. I think it's a CDV, I don't know what that stands for, but... I would just like to point out that Grimtides uh, said Gadget is the one true savior. Oh, okay. And I think okay. like now is a really important time to talk about our lady, our lord, uh -huh. and savior, Gadget Hackwrench. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> she's so great. She's very smart. She's a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she's yeah. a mouse. Uh, we, we, uh, we talked about uh, the cult of Gadget on our podcast of weekly many, many yeah. moons ago. Yeah, we did. Um, we also talked about the cult of Gadget Hack Wrench in chat earlier tonight somehow. Did you really? It came up earlier. Uh, and I assured them that it was just people who worship Gadget. Uh, it's not a weird sex thing. No. Uh, well, no, they're very serious about her being God. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not some kind of thing where they want to fuck a mouse. No, they're like, she is the lord and savior, uh, and also a cartoon mouse. Sometimes, uh, sometimes <laughs> crimes. <laughs> oh, I, I, I remember works. this boss. This boss is hard. Uh, yeah, he, he just kind of jumps around and shoots water at you three times, and you're supposed to pick up these boxes while the water pushes you around and, and throw it at him three times. Uh, one thing that I am missing from this game that was present in the first one uh, was the ability to pick up Zipper as a sort of ally that would fly around and kill everything on the screen. Uh, that does not appear to be present here. He instead just sort of turned on some water for me. Uh, I thought Zipper was like invincibility, basically. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Zipper being a little green fly. Yes. So I died, but it does start me back here. That's good. That's a, that's a nice checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to play all those stages again. Which this and is like, the NES, so. Yeah. And if we're gonna like you know, uh, shit on some games, I guess, right? Yeah. Because like it's hard to shit on this one because it's Shippendales on NES, right? It's great. Right. Yeah. Um, but I would say like the stage is pretty uninspired. It is. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure there was like a. Fan, and like the water looks awful. It does. Yeah, it's real bad. I'm pretty sure there was a kitchen stage in the first game. Was there? Uh, I, I want to say there was. Uh, I remember like some outdoor stuff, uh, a casino where you fought yeah. Fat Cat. 
Oh, she just took damage from she the does. Uh, water bolt. Okay. Yeah, if it falls on her head, it still gives her damage. Uh, it's also kind of easy to get pelted with them yourself. Sure. Uh, also, if the box is falling, whether or not it hits your head or it hits y you come in contact with it on the side, it still uh, knocks you out. Oh, got but him. I got him. Nice. All right. And so like the first game, this is two-player simultaneous co-op, right? Yes. Yeah. So one person can be Chip, one person can be Dale, uh, or you can just be one or the other. Very, very neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no play difference. So this is a bonus stage where I'm supposed to throw oh, this ball out. These stupid balls. Yeah. And you only get to throw it once, so I fucked that okay. up. Gadget, have you found the bomb? Also, this is fucking high stakes for some pet detectives. <laughs> <laughs> cool. A pet detective is different from a, a detective pet. Right, yeah. This these, these are detective pets. Like the the whole conceit of Chippendale's Rescue Rangers is they're they're trying to solve crimes for animals uh they don't really have much to do with humans and uh now they have to stop a fucking time bomb well that's a very tiny bomb though it is i feel like it wouldn't hurt anybody it blew up ah yeah. it must have been a fake bomb so we found the fake He's, bomb fat cat's done stolen the urn of the pharaoh yep what? so we have to go get the urn of the pharaoh what yeah what <laughs> these are some okay. high stakes chipmunks Apparently. All right, so now I'm ah, in the sewers. Yes. The prerequisite NES sewer level. Mm-hmm. Where you are fighting like Dark Flounder from the Little <laughs> And some bats. Because fish and bats, very prevalent in the sewers. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. We, when you fell in, in the water there in the, in the poo gas. Uh-huh, uh, yeah. Was that, was that an instant kill? It was, yeah. Gross. Started me over. It's all right, though. So I have to jump down. It looks like Can you not get through there. Yeah, I, I couldn't, but it looks like I, I would. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's like a two-player alternate path or something. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Because you can pick each other up in two-player mode in the first one. I'm assuming you can do that here too. Yeah. So every stage has uh, like two parts to it, and then a boss fight. So I'm, I'm working toward the boss fight. Luckily, there are just boxes everywhere in the sewers. So I, I can't... will say though. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So I, I just have. Oh 20. no. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it another shot. Okay. I'll try again. I do have a continue. So back to the sewers I go. I was gonna say uh, the music's good. Yeah, the music's not bad. Yeah, like I these mean, Disney afternoon uh, games were good. Right. It's no, it's no Ducktales NES, you know, or anything like that. Oh well, no. Uh, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like some Mega Man Three rhythms in some ways. Uh, I don't know, it, 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 it feels pretty good. It's got a nice beat. You can dance to it. You know? Yeah. I could pump this in the car. Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, this really is just pretty much the first game again yeah. uh, with new levels. Can I ask something about the, uh, the world of this game again? Sure. I am confused. Uh, always. Uh, so you're grabbing these crates? Yeah. Uh, why are there crates this size? Well, that's true. <laughs> they are chipmunk sized crates. Uh, Who is this fucking dork? Some fucking... Bulldog like, that wants to be a bat. This attack animation kind of sucks. Yeah. It just feels really lazy. It does. And so it comes at you like fucking legs akimbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have to like he needs to blow those boxes to the ground so that I can pick them up, but he keeps not they keep not falling to the ground. Do you need to be a little closer to him? Um so I I I do eventually determine he's kind of throwing them at just wherever I am, so hanging out just across the stage is not going to work. I do need to be closer to him um, in order for them to uh, to come down. However, 
Uh, before I get there, I kind of think maybe I'm supposed to jump on him? But no, that's, okay. not, that's not it. That just hurts. Looks like Snagglepuss got bitten by Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a rabid Snagglepuss Dracula. <laughs> Uh, and oh, no, I died, funny. and I just decided, eh, I'm good. I don't need to keep going. Okay. So, that is uh, that is Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 uh, for crimes. the... Yeah. Okay, there he goes slipping through the cracks. Uh, for, for the NES. Two. Gumshoes. Goes, uh, picking up the slack, yeah. There's no case too big. No, no case, case too, too small. small. If you need help, just call Ch -ch 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 Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Okay, anyway. That's it. I played it. I played the good game. I win. Yeah, it was the best. One hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I think we went in order from worst to best. Yeah, uh, I think we did. Your your game looks like it would have been a pretty fun time. I think it would have even been better with a second player. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, no. Okay. No, no faults on on you. Uh, Fantasia and Doug are bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Doug's boring and Fantasia doesn't know what it is so before we go ahead and call this week over matt what are we doing next time all right uh we get a little more leeway with our game choices next week uh because we're going to be looking back into our own pasts our own game libraries uh and we may be picking some games that people find bad but that's kind of the point because we're looking for uh some of our own guilty pleasures games that uh other people think might not be so great but we kind of like them yeah that's all that fucking yeah. matters right exactly. So. <laughs> exactly so our own guilty pleasures coming up on the next episode of cartridge Blowers. excellent well that's what you have to look forward to in two weeks until then i am cody coleman with me as always is nikki wright i got yoshi <laughs> <laughs> and matt krua <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I think we should call the police. <laughs> Guys, don't die, but Matt, they should do something. What is that something? They should, they should keep on blowing. Nice. Ah, uh, goodbye, everybody. <laughs>